What if I told you that the G-rated Disney film, The Brave Little Toaster, was actually not a kid's movie? Sure, the movie starts out all nice and kid-friendly at first, but then you realize the owner of all these appliances abandoned them, and they're all waiting there with hope until the terrifying AC unit crushes their hope and tells them to give up on it just like their owner did to them right before blowing up and dying right in front of them. Yeah, pretty intense scene. But that's not the only death in this movie. They meet a flower that gets attached to the toaster, and the toaster ends up rejecting it, and it dies. Later, the toaster has a nightmare of a killer clown that tries to stab it with a fork to make it explode and also throw it into a bathtub? Like, what? Then we see the vacuum start freaking out and seizing up. Like, that's not terrifying at all. But don't worry, the whole gang gets taken to this man's shop where they watch him dismantle a blender for parts. Basically a front row seat to a horror movie. I mean, yeah, that's totally water dripping right there. If you don't notice all of that stuff, then you probably didn't notice the whole junkyard scene. Basically, this car magnet is chasing down these cars to crush and end their existence as the musical number Worthless plays in the background. 